Okay guys, I'm back. Sorry about that little cut right there. I had to do something in the other uh, worlds of the game, so I'm back and now I'm going to do next level. Loopy Lights. Unlike the Blackout Basement level, this level is a little bit different. You can actually turn the lights on. And this kind of works like the stop and go station earlier on in the game, where you have these barrels, and if you hit them when they're off, they'll turn on. And after a few seconds of them being on, they'll turn off, so just keep that in mind. These bananas look suspicious, so naturally there must be a bonus there. And... Just keep hitting Y as you go through this course, and you should be able to get everything. Shouldn't have to wait for any of the barrels, so don't worry about that. I should also mention that these jumping clap traps make a comeback. Uh, they were in that one bonus level, but um, this is actually the first level that they actually jump around, so be careful of them. They can be kind of annoying, especially since they jump whenever you get close to them, so, you know, sometimes they can, you know, screw you up and not have you realize it, that they're there, and they can jump, or... Okay, I can't see. I can't see where the next platform is. Okay, yeah, there was no platform there. I could not see that platform on my screen. So I really hope that's not a glitch or anything. If it's not, then that would suck, because I wouldn't be able to finish the game. I'll go ahead and start from the beginning, just because. I'll only cut that stuff out if I have to. Surely, though, I'm getting to the very end of the game, so... Cutting stuff may not be a problem. Because believe it or not, I don't think the final bosses of the game are really that hard. And I only say bosses because uh, I have the boss of this world, and then after that you immediately fight the boss of the game. So that's what I'm talking about when I say that. Just in case you were confused. Okay, I didn't seem to have that problem this time, so... Maybe that was just a glitch. Hope nothing's wrong with my game, but... What, this game is like 15 years old now, so... I guess I shouldn't be that surprised that it's screwing up now. Okay, um, we have a bonus coming up here pretty soon. Um, it can be kind of difficult just because of the way it's set up and where you have to find it. Uh, I believe it, it, it appears when you find a mountain. Or not really a mountain, but this right here. Okay, this is where I need to be. And I could not see anything, so... Um, I actually kind of screwed myself right there, because I wasn't supposed to destroy that barrel. But anyways, the bonus is right here, I think, so... I might be able to find another barrel if I go through this level, but I'm not that sure. And even if I do, I'll have to be pretty careful to take it all the way back, so... That might be another bonus I have to, you know, cut and then show off-screen, or... Not really off-screen. I guess that's not the technical word to use there, but... You know, um, make a cut and then go back in the level and cut most of the footage out. Just to put the bonus back in. Okay, come on. Okay, this jump's kind of annoying. Okay, there we go. We have one last Mankey Kong. This might be the last level that Mankey Kong appears in, so... Say goodbye to our good old friend, Mankey Kong. He's a cool guy because he's trying to remind us all of the good old arcade days of Donkey Kong. <sighs> okay, so I'll be right back. I'm going to quickly get the bonus for this level, so I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, guys, would you believe me if I said this is the very last level of the game? Well, it is, so let's go to Platform Perils. Not to be confused with the Mario Party minigame. Uh, right off the bat, as you can see, there is a uh, bonus barrel right there. Now, you're probably wondering, how the hell are we supposed to get that? Well, 
You have to be kind of creative with this. Uh, right after this platform, immediately drop off to the left, and then you'll find a platform that'll take you all the way over here. And that is how you get that bonus barrel. Let's go ahead and spell out the letters of Kong. I normally wouldn't show this minigame, but what the hell. One of the last minigames of the entire game, or one of the last bonus stages, I mean. And I believe there is just one more bonus in the entire game, and that's at the very end of the level, so... Let's actually focus on getting through this level before we actually start talking about that. The main gimmick of this level are these platforms. You have to ride these platforms throughout the entire level, pretty much. Um, and sometimes they'll introduce some obstacles where there'll be enemies standing on these arrows. I can't believe I actually cleared that jump. I didn't think I would make that. And uh, we'll see a lot of that later on in the level. The first part is actually pretty easy. Pretty standard platforming. Okay. And they also introduce a new, ty new type of Crusha in this level. Uh, crushes are enemies that only Donkey Kong or Barrels can destroy. Uh, however, the new type of Crusher, I believe Donkey Kong can't even kill. So you have to watch out for them. Uh, we'll see a lot of those near the end of the level. There was one at the very beginning, too, if you didn't notice that. They're slightly more purplish colored, if you couldn't tell. That's how you tell the difference between the two. Okay, let's go ahead and get Donkey Kong out just to be safe. And there is a very big platforming puzzle at the very end of this level, and I'm not kidding when I say that. It's really, really tricky. You have to be right on your game if you want to get past it without any problem. Okay, just jump over that since I can't jump on him with Diddy. I'll go ahead and switch back to Donkey Kong just to be safe. It's kind of, it's kind of a shame that... Um, Unlike in Mario, if you jump on a bunch of enemies at once, you can get a one-up, but not in Donkey Kong Country, which is kind of a shame. Because there are some parts of this level which could be good places to get lives if this was Mario. Anyways, here's the puzzle I was talking about. Remember, you have to be very, very quick when you're doing this. You gotta have nearly perfect reaction time. Well, I almost failed that. Okay, this should be the last one. Maybe not. Okay, this level's still going. Okay, right here. Stay on the platform, because there's the last bonus right there. As you can see, the exit's right after it, so we're almost done, folks. This game is almost over. Not sure how many in guard tokens I have, so I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, guess randomly. Okay, good. I didn't want to play another minigame, but... I didn't want to fail my last bonus stage, either. <clears throat> and there we go, level completed. We're now going to fight the boss, and then we're going to fight the final boss. So, very quickly, I'm going to save. Show you my current game percentage. 100%! All we have to do is beat the boss level, and then we get 101, and that's perfect. As you can see, I pretty much matched my best record, which is kind of weird. But uh, this boss fight will probably take more than a minute, so I probably actually lost to my record by one minute, which kind of sucks, but... Eh, what can you do? So here's the boss, uh, the second variation of Neki. Neki's Revenge. <clears throat> Neki's Revenge is a different color, obviously, and Neki is obviously um, better at shooting his nuts at you. As you can see, he shoots more than just one now, so you have to be very careful. I, if I honestly had to say that he's probably the toughest world boss in the entire game. I think the final boss is probably the toughest, but this boss can actually be kind of tough too. Especially if you have a uh, bad reaction time, but there we go. Neki's Revenge has been defeated, and we are now ready to fight the final boss of the game. At Gangplank Galleon. Um, 
I'm not going to save. This boss honestly isn't that bad, so I shouldn't get a game over here. If I do, I only have myself to blame, so let's go. Final boss time at Gangplank Galleon.